Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series here on my channel. Welcome to Magic Duels. For those of you who don't know, Magic Duels is an online version of the card game Magic the Gathering. I have been very much addicted to Magic, Magic the Gathering here recently, um, and I can't play enough of it. Uh, finding people to play with is difficult where I am, and uh, the nearest card shop where I could play Friday Night Magic, I wouldn't play Friday Night Magic there. Anyway, this is, uh, to me, the next best option. It's completely free to play. Uh, you can find it on Steam. Uh, you earn, obviously, as you see in the top left-hand corner here, you earn gold for completing matches, and uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. So, let us go ahead and uh, get right into it. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play through story mode. Now, when you download Magic Duels, you will find two story modes. Magic Origins, which I'm playing through on my own, and the Battle for Zendikar. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more about the game and kind of the background and some of the stuff that you won't see if you just play the game at a later date, but for now, let's experience the battle for Zendikar together. The first match here is obviously worth 10 coins if I win, and the last one is worth 50, so let's start the first duel. You are Gideon Jura, a valiant knight and planeswalker. You have protected people on many planes, and now it's the people of Zendikar who need you most. You arrive to find Eldrazi ravaging the land. The stronghold of Seagate has been overrun. You rush to free those trapped inside. All right, Gideon versus the Eldrazi. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Eh, I'm not super happy with this hand. So let's get a new one. Oh, and I'm really not happy with this one. Sure. Sure. Let's keep this one. And the reason it, I did that was the first one had... It looked like too much land, and the second had no land at all. And land is what you... For those of you who don't know magic, land is how you get power to cast your cards later on. So, yeah. All right, looks like it's my turn first. I have one mana out, can't do anything else, so the timer starts on its own. I go through all the different phases of play, and he plays a land, and now it's my turn. I draw a card on my turn. First thing I do is I play another land. Now, each of these cards does something different. This is a 2-2 two, two for one and a white. It's a human soldier. I could play this now, but I kind of want to see what else I've got here. These core castigators will be very useful because one of the things that a lot of cards in Eldrazi decks do is spawn Eldrazi Scions, which can be destroyed for an additional mana. So I think I'm going to start by playing a core castigator. So for those of you who do know Magic the Gathering, you'll recognize or likely know about Magic the Gathering Online, which is an online version of Magic the Gathering, much like what I'm playing here. Hmm, interesting. And this is Eel of the Watch with flying. Uh, this creature can't be blocked except by creatures, creatures with flying or reach. And Vigilance. All right, I'm going to get him out this turn, too. It's always nice to have a flyer out on the field, and Vigilance is excellent. Alright, uh, I am going to attack on this turn, and confirm. And he doesn't have anything to block with, so he gets the damage. Excellent. This is obviously not Magic the Gathering Online. Magic the Gathering Online requires, uh, if I remember correctly, a monthly uh, 
monthly fee. Yeah, see, like I said before, let's take a look here. This is his graveyard. Call the Scions. For two and a green, uh, you put two 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Scion creature tokens onto the battlefield. They have sacrificed this creature at one point. So, what he's now done is put two 1-1 one, one creatures out, which is what I was expecting him to do, which is why this guy is so useful. He can't be blocked by those guys. So, my next turn, every turn you get to play a mana. I now have four sitting out there. What do I have here? Retreat. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, either put a core ally creature token onto the battlefield, or creatures I control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Huh. And that would take all of them. So... I think I'm going to do that on this turn. It, it seems like a ridiculous thing to do, but there are, and I wasn't going to get into this in this episode, but there are daily quests that I could do in order to gain more gold. And I'll, I'll probably get into that. So attack with all, confirm attack. This guy has vigilance, remember, so he doesn't tap, which means that I can now use him to block on my next turn if I wanted to. So obviously this isn't Magic the Gathering Online, which I feel has gotten a lot of uh, Wizards of the Coast's attention. However, oh, what is this? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, I didn't want to do that. Oh, you know what? Let's... Um... No, let's not block with him. I was going to. But I can take two fairly handily and, and not worry about it. But yeah, this game is... If we're honest, this game is a bit broken right now. Um, some people that... Some friends of mine who have tried to download it can't get it to work. Um, I haven't had a lick of trouble with it at all. All right, so here we're going to see this enchantment work. Planes goes down, and I'm going to put a, an ally onto the field. This fella over here. I also have these guys. Let's get this core castigator out, because he can't be blocked by these guys, which is incredibly useful. And I'll go ahead and tap for the rest and get all my creatures out as fast as possible. Attack with all. Confirm. So yeah, some of the some of the features that were uh, advertised with this game kind of the way they were supposed to, and Wizards of the Coast knows that. Okay, so what they're doing? So Battle for Zendikar came out last year. Since then, they've released Oath of the Gatewatch, and they're about to release Shadows over Innistrad. Hmm. No, I know, I know about this. So, um, it's obviously telling me something's up. I don't have any land to play. So, let us attack with everything. Let's see, this is three, four, six, eight. Yeah, and he can't feel that much damage. Attack with all. Confirm. Excellent. Anyway, um, so they, they know this is broken. Uh, and whereas they would normally release Oath of the Gatewatch when it came out on this game, what they're actually going to do is wait until Shadows Over Innistrad comes out and then release them both at the same time. Plus a bunch of bug fixes. So in general, what's going to wind up happening is a lot of things are going to get fixed. And I think we can all agree that's a good thing. Now, honestly, I would likely prefer to have the 1-1 one -one counters. But one of the challenges that I'm facing is... Um, one of the challenges of the day is to get a bunch of creature tokens onto the field. So I'm trying to get a bunch of creature tokens onto the field. So attack with everybody. 
confirm, and wait for him to block these guys. See, now, he didn't have to do that. But for some reason, he decided... And we're done. Yep. The game is over. Gideon victorious. All right. And 10 coins to boot. Let us continue. Yep. See? I'm working on it. You help the survivors escape. Among them is Nyssa, an elvish planeswalker. You share your plan to reclaim Seagate from the Eldrazi and ask for her aid. She speaks of a quest she must complete first, but she agrees to join the fight after you have assembled an army. All right. On we go. And the next round is unlocked. I think we'll complete the next round in the next episode. All right, and until then, take care.